Good morning, lovely Zoe Two Dots here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today we're gonna try and wrap up our Giovanni quest line. Get ourselves our Z Z Z yep, Zato Shadow Zapdos. <laughs> And also do like a teeny just a little bit, maybe a shiny hunting uh, for the new evolution event that has started. So happy days. There's new shinies in the game with Burmy, not the most exciting, but Motham. Motham looks fantastic. Just finished up with the plasma donation as well. So friendly reminder to you guys, if you are physically able to donate blood or plasma, please do so before Christmas. Um, December, there is always a spike in road accidents, just general injuries and and you know bad things happening to humans tend to, to spike around to the silly season so get out there if you can donate some blood or plasma if you can't physically donate please encourage your friends or family to do so on your behalf uh, because it all adds up and one in four Australia I mean, this is Australia stats but one in four Australians will need blood or blood products in their life and only one in 40 donates so let's help kind of like skew the odds back into a bit more reasonable like this is this is my down payment I'm gonna need blood at some point in my life this is my down payment on when I need that back later in life donated my human juice got rewarded with real juice so you know we happy I've also got two shiny checks here as well so first check on the Gligar is a no of course uh, and then the Apom no, that's a cool shiny. I, that's like one I don't see that often either. So I wouldn't. Oh, ah, oh, Oddish, Oddish, not that I need anymore. No, uh, I'll catch these guys up as well, and I'll just battle this gym down too. I have got it gold already, so I don't really want to kick people out that might be working on it. But um, I have got a couple of rewards quests there for it too. And oh, I forgot I had this field research, guys. Week eleven, week eleven field research. What are we thinking? Drum roll, please. Brr. Stardust, Ultra Balls, five Ultra Balls, is that all you get when you get Ultra Balls in a breakthrough? For seven days of being a good little egg and going out and ticking off, are you s There are Unova Stones in regular quests as well, they are the tricky quests, but we're going to try and find some of those today too. Another Groudon, fine by me. I'm going to pineapple it and stack it up for later in case I get any, you know, excellent throw quests and XYZ like that. But we can put those candies towards powering up our shiny, which is nice. Run away from you. Cool. Let me catch these up, get a couple of these gym battles in, and then we're going to go... Uh, am I going to drop a lucky egg for this kind of stuff? Not really. Uh, we'll go do the four remaining Go Rocket Grunt battles and pick up some new quests too. So rock and or roll. Okay, so it's pumped out a couple of evolutions for a sneaky little quest here. Had three stacked up and they are rewarding Burmy for 10 evolutions. So no on the first one. It can be any form of Burmy as well. Um, but pretty easy task to do, especially if you have got them all stacked up at once. You can maximize that instead of doing 30 separate evolutions. You could do uh, 10 while three quests are stacked up. Uh, and no on the third Burmy either. I accidentally deleted a quest that I saw. I thought it was going to be rewarding a... Um, uh, an upgrade, an evolution item, but it's actually rewarding a magnetic lure, which is insane. The, the quest is do five raids, so it is like a fairly intensive quest, but like stack up three of those, do five quests over a couple of days, that's a pretty decent little reward. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna go back and grab that one later as well, but yeah, just thought I'd put that out there. There's quests rewarding these special lure modules, which is pretty sick. Okay, done and Dusted. Let's claim these two bad boys. Give me that XP. Yum, 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 yum. And let's see if the quest still remains the same. More than likely, it's going to be a, a yes. So we're going to have to verse, yep, Arlo, Cliff, and uh, Sierra, which shouldn't be too hard to do. We've kind of got this down to an art now, I guess. I guess. I mean, mostly. And then the, the next phase after this should be defeating Giovanni. So it shouldn't take too long to do that. So let's see. On our nearby, where are the spawns in Newcastle? Oh, there's one like pff, right here. Let's uh, mm, need to lock the car. Let's go grab. I just drift. I lock the car. Magic. It was just Cliff. So let's uh, go <laughs> jump back over this way. I think I've just been pretty much using the the Arlo team for both Cliff and Arlo. I haven't had too many issues with that. So let's see if that uh, works out again for us today. I have to put you down somewhere because I can't really do this one-handed. One day, man. One day that Meowth is going to be shiny for me. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be today. I don't know. Let's charge this bad boy up. Go Plus is doing its thing. Oh, I didn't catch whatever it was. Well then, that's where the spawns are. Th 
Flygon. Okay, we might need to re re reload with a different mid Pokemon. Um, hmm. Let's see. We'll just see how we go. It's not going to be effective, but we'll just chip it away. Hopefully we can just kind of time this so that the Tyranitar takes the final hit as well. Yep, so we'll take the charge attack on the Tyranitar. We'll come in with Machamp because I wanted to save the Machamp because we know Cliff's going to have his own T-Tar in the back. And the Machamp's going to be super effective against that. So let's see if we can just kind of charge up, hopefully. Yes, we should be able to charge up pretty much uh, halfway. Oh yeah, cool. Easy. Fully charged. Let's get one, two, three. Top chops off there. Yum. I haven't really developed a good method for getting excellent on these. I just kind of, I mean, I didn't even get excellent on that one. It's going to go fast and go, go swirly. It's random every single time, so can't really prep for it. Let's see, let's see, what will it be? I wish I could skip these. Yep, yep, yep. Cool, cheers for the potion. More potions. <laughs> Thanks, Cliff. So many potions. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, three, two, one. Not a shiny. That's okay. Cool. Let's grab this bad boy. Let's go find Sierra. Let's go find Arlo. And let's go find Giovanni. Arlo time. I'm just going to, again, use the same team that I had in there before. We'll see if he has something spicy in the middle if we need to change things up. But, I mean, for now, we just see. It's all. It's, it'll be, we'll be fine. I've totally forgotten what I need to actually take in for Sierra because I genuinely haven't done one since like the since the last quest when I had to verse Sierra. I have been avoiding her. No hard feelings. Sierra, I just really do not want to get a shiny shadow sneasel. I think that will make me very upset if I do get that. Uh, it's because I want the Meowth so bad. The, the Scythe is a very strong second. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I have just been dodging Sierra, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go. Ah, oh, she can have a Lapras in the middle, can't she? So probably like, we'll go, um, Melmetal, Machamp, Machamp, and then just scope out what she's got. I can always just uh, stop into Machamp here and then finish up with the T-Tar. Yikes, it would have been better to just get a bit better on that, but hey, it's, it's fine, he's down. Uh, and Sizer in the back, easy. Once again, I still need to get myself like a decent Fireboy. Oh no, out of shields. I need to get myself a decent Fireboy as well to um, like a Blast Burn Charizard that's good. I never evolved like a decent IV one, which was really silly. Um, but yeah, let's see, we should be able to, ooh, that fast move from the Sizer, yikes. Yeah, nah, let's, uh, let's reset. So I think if I had done what I just did here now, actually, I kind of just, um, I subbed in the Machamp way faster rather than like running out the Melmetal. Um, even doing that probably would have, I wouldn't have had to change my team up, but I do have Blaziken in the back right now. Uh, but I've, I've still got Mel, Mel Metal still alive. Uh, I think if I was just yeah better with my swaps, I could have used the exact same team. So, top of little tip. Sometimes it might not be like maybe you don't need to power up that Pokemon a little bit more. Maybe you don't need to swap it out. Maybe you do. But um, potentially, did I just shield that by accident? Whoopsies, that was dumb. Uh, potentially, you might just need to uh, swap at more optimal times. Kind of make use of that cheeky few seconds where you know they can't shield themselves or when um sorry when they're not attacking. Ah, yikes. That's okay. We'll still, we'll still get this. It's probably going to kill me with this charge move because I accidentally shielded. I wasn't paying attention. See, top tip. As I was just saying, pay attention to your battles and you should be fine. There, there we go. Dunsky. Um, but yeah, potentially you can use the exact same team again, but just load up in a better format. Uh, swap out instead of, you know, waiting for a Pokemon to faint. You know, if you keep that, if I kept that Mel Metal in the back there, I could have swapped in to use the Mel Metal as like a flesh shield uh, to keep me, you know, keep me safe. So yeah, just if you know if you fail the first time, reattempt, try some things different, even if you use the same team. Three, two, one, check. That's a regular old Scyther, no worries. Let's catch this one, and I have got another Burmy quest to check as well with the evolve. The evolvings have been done. Lovely. Gotcha. Scyther was caught. Let's surprise. I forgot to appraise the Meowth as well, but let's just check this. Uh, nah. Could have been better. Oh well. So. Burmy check. I can't flick with this band-aid on. <laughs> no on the Burmy. I'm just going to catch this one just so I don't have too much in my stack for when, um, by the time Com Day rolls around. Uh, and got some more evolution quests to do. What's this quest over here? Use an item to evolve. No, I'm going to delete that. I'm pretty sure that's a Clam Pearl. 
do not want any clamp oil in my life, but a pretty easy one if you do need clamp oil there. And last to find will be Sierra, and I'm out of, I'm out of Go Rocket radars. Ah. Sierra done and dusted, and your girl needs a coffee because she gets sleepy after plasma. So, come on, Sierra, break my heart. Show me that shiny shiny snow. Who <laughs> managed Pokemon? Yikes! Well, I look. I mean, at least. Oh dear. Uh, I am slightly further away than when I s had to spin her because she was not in a good spot. Hopefully she just is she just go to the encounter. We'll never know. I had to I had to like tap on her and then go find somewhere to park. So she's like back over there. So. Oh well. I'm I'm liberated. I don't have to get a shiny shadow sneeze. Let's quickly check these bad boys as well. Go plus settle down. I should turn you off, but nah, I'm not gonna. Uh, no. No on the shiny, and just to check the Rosalia to break my heart, doubly. Ah, oh, we good, we good, we good. Ah, uh, claim, claim, claim. Give me that XP. Give me that Giovanni radar. Give me some clear skies with some, you know, less smoke. Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Where are we gonna go find? T find the Team Garrocket boss. Battle Team Garrocket boss. Boss, boss, boss. What a boss. He's a boss. Equip. Yum, yum, yum. Gimme. Where is Giovanni at? So here's the thing. I need to find one where I can actually... Oh, that one over there is not a bad... Those two over there are decent to get to. Newcastle's just got so much construction lately. There's, like, not a lot of parking places. I would love to be out and about walking around, but I'll probably pass out in the heat with the lack of fluid in me. So... Hmm, get myself a water, get myself a coffee, and we'll go and try and find Giovanni. Take him down. Okay, gang, let's get this bread. Let's yeet the wheat. We're gonna take down Giovanni. I spun no less than 10. 10 decoys. There was just all of like in town was just entirely decoys. So I'm out here uh, in Broadmeadow. Uh, we've got, finally got our actual Giovanni Baus. Um, his, I believe his middle setup is still the same. He still generally has like some uh, rock types, some ground types uh, rather in the middle section of his team. So we'll see how we go. Again, Melmetal is just a beast for tearing down the shield. So it just charges up nice and fast. Persian's going to mess me up, but this should be fine. Hopefully. We'll see. And I've got Tyranitar in the back to deal with the Zapdos with the rock move. So that should also be fine. Let's get rock slide off. And this one charge... Oh, I'm going to shield because I've got the charge move ready. This one charge should do enough to Persian for me to be like sitting pretty, hopefully. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, never mind, I was totally false. <laughs> Absolutely false. Uh, oh, okay, let's see. Uh, you know what? It was, that was fast enough. This, I mean, we should still be fine. But we're definitely going to end up having to spend another shield on, like, the Swampert or something in the middle, I reckon. If we can't get this version down... Go with Swampert to start charging it up for the next Pokemon's coming in. Magic. Magic, magic. We'll get partway charged. Hydro Cannon's ready to roll, but I'm going to get two slaps in. So it's charging in the back for our next one. Do, 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 do. And this should just honestly KO the right on. Almost. Close enough. And I mean, the Hydro Cannon's just like ready to go. We get one slap in there in between. I could take more advantage of that by doing a couple more slaps, but I don't want to mess around. Buzz. And then last but not least the zappy it's so the, the, the water's gonna do nothing uh but i am just gonna keep swamp it in here oh mm -hmm. i could i'm gonna no i'm gonna swap out i'm gonna swap out straight away to the tita uh and then keep this shield up if we don't get it down i've got one shield for tranitar and then failing that if you know we have to go to third shields i can use swamp it as a third shield a fleshy a fleshy shield it's like a sacrificial swap so I mean, we'll see. Oh gosh, what, which one did I miss? Uh, doesn't matter. We're all good, doesn't matter that I missed. You didn't see that, sir. This isn't over. We will meet on the battlefield again. Oh gosh, gee, funny, no. See you next month, coward. Gotti. I should have put a star piece on. 
Did I say coward? I meant hello. Are you single, Giovanni? How would you like to go out for juice? I have a juice box in the car. Oh my, mm, you Nova Stone. Yes, thank you. <laughs> wow, check out the U-turn on that. Um, okay, Giovanni's my favorite. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I haven't seen any of the... I'm going to actually try and throw a decent for these ones because they... I like how it's little sparks in the shadows look really cool. You normally can't see those. That's fantastic. Um, I'm going to try to... I forgot what I was saying. I lost track of my sentence. We got it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, I was going to say, I haven't found a single Unova Stone quest so far. But um, here's a list of all the quests happening for the Evolution event. Uh, it is a fairly tricky one to get, but I mean accessible-ish? It would take a lot of time, but I mean, I guess for the fact that Unova Stones are rare and appear that like they're going to be rare for a while, that is a way to get it. Zapdos, let's check your IVs. Yep, no, nah, not getting purified. Okay. Let me, oh, hello. No on the Pucciana. Let's see, what quests have I got? I did go back and find, I found another one, and then I found that previous one for the Win 5 Raids Evolution bonus. Let's go. I'll go do that rocket just to get another little component going in there. We'll do a little lap at this park and see if there's any decent spawns in here too. But I want to check that Meowth from... Actually, I want to check all of my shadows from today. I haven't really IV checked any of them. I did go back and grab the Sneasel as well from Sierra. Not bad on the IVs. Nothing today with... Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Ah. Wait. No. Dang it. If that was... Come on, Beninat. If that was one more in the middle, that would have been a hundo. Dang it. Ah. Oh well, okay. Let's go do a quick lap of this park and see if there's anything spicy popping. Quick house, Oish check new. Okay, hello William. Okie dokie, and Cinnamon's here as well. She's chilling. Lettuce leaf. Let us check uh, what in our storage. Maybe we got lucky, I had the Go Plus going the whole time. We were out in a boot. So, sneaky little scroll Dragonair there that we picked up manually. Got a ditto, very nice. Whole bunch of Burmy, whole bunch of horsey. Spawning like crazy. Uh, Haunter, very cool. A lot of Burmy. Lairons, Scyther, we completed the quest for those ones. Um, that's pretty much it. This is where my day kind of started at the, at the blood bank here. I hatched a bunch of eggs and then, yeah. Did some, did some plasma ring. So nothing too crazy. Let's check for 100% IVs, four star, nothing. And our shadow ones didn't turn out too great either. Hello, buddy, hello. He like, he always sniffs the bandage after this. I don't know if it's like a weird, it does smell weird. It smells like, um, not like rubber, I guess. They're really cool. They're actually, they don't need like a butterfly clip. Like they stick down, like they grab onto themselves, which is fantastic. A lot of like reduced waste in those ones. Ah, uh, and any other research I can complete? Oh, sweet. Okay, the Go Plus spun for us a, uh, a glacial lure as well. So I guess I need to do some raids. Oh, tomorrow, the raid day, the raid couple of hours is gonna be um, the five free raid passes. <laughs> I don't have to spend any days doing this. It'll just be done tomorrow. Sick. Okay, well, fantastic. Let me know in the comments down below, how did you guys go for your, you know, your Zapdos? Are you up to that yet? Are you taking your time with it this month? Uh, and did you get anything crazy on the first day of the evolution bonus, the evolution event? Let's get the cat in frame just because everyone, everyone, everyone loves some good cat action. How did you go? Did you get some shinies in? Did you get a Burmy already? Did you get an Onyx or a Scyther or something that you really, really wanted for this event? Um, the spawns are really good. Like the spawns are really, really good. I am still noticing, like I haven't checked really a lot today because um, we didn't spend that much time out, but um, I haven't checked if like that spawn decrease issue has been resolved. But in general, the variety of spawns, like everything that I've seen today pretty much can be shiny. Snowrunt, uh, <laughs> Snowrunt, Poly, Poliwag, uh, Horsey, uh, Swinub, Rolt, a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, the, the Onyx, Cypher, like all of it is shiny potential. There's all the evolved forms. So if you're running a star piece, catch up all those evolved forms too. Bonus, bonus Stardust. And I don't mean like there's a Stardust bonus. I mean like evolved forms give more Stardust when you catch them in the wild. The quests are pretty good as well. Like the, the requirements are pretty balanced. The raid passes, like a hot tip guys, stack up before your Saturday raid hour if you're doing it. The five free passes, get a full stack of those do five raids. That's free. 
that's fantastic. So get amongst it. And again, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments down below. Thank you as always for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.